What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of This Dope Cooking Show. Welcome back. If you are here, then you heard that I have a cooking show. My name is Chef Jeff, and I'm glad to have you here. Check it out. We're going to get a little fancy this week, okay? So I had the opportunity to uh, go spend a uh, love day, and I went to a fancy restaurant, and I love the dish that I had. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do something fancy. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do something real jazzy. Um, so get your pencil, your paper out. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna make something real nice, right? And then we're going to eat it, and you're going to love it, because I love it. Um, and shoot, there's going to be another one for the history book. So, look, let's get started, guys. I hope you guys enjoy um, your Valentine's Day. The Super Bowl was off the chain. Usher, the Chiefs. <laughs> I mean, you know, the Chiefs won, right? So, I told y'all, but... You ain't got to listen to Chef Jeff. Um, our prayers and thoughts go out to those that were injured, the lady that was killed in the chief celebration parade where the shooting occurred. Violence is never good, and we got to do something about the violence. We just have to. It's not okay. Uh, we can't even go and celebrate and have a good time and congratulate our teams that win or celebrate in our cities without some type of violence, and we got to stop it, y'all. We really, really do. We really got to stop the violence. Um, on another note, uh, Hope y'all had a good time for Valentine's Day. I know I did. I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed who I was with. She enjoyed herself, <laughs> and she had a good time. So don't ask me nothing because I ain't telling you it's none of your business, none of your beeswax. So today, guys, we're going to get into, uh, we're going to do a um, um, uh, pan-seared cod with a cucumber slaw. And something else. What else are we going to put on there? Oh, and we're going to do some more fried rice. I forgot. <laughs> My bad. Uh, yeah, we're going to do some fried rice, but it's going to be different. It's not going to be the St. Louis style fried rice. And it's going to have carrots in it. Don't shoot me. My St. Louis people, don't shoot me. But we got to be culture. You know, it ain't just the fried rice that we get from the Chinamen. There's other types of fried rice. And so we're going we gonna to make some of that, okay? So... Get your pens, papers ready. We gonna we gonna take. You know, I'm gonna put the what I use, and uh, you can follow along. It's real simple. It's gonna be really quick, really easy. So don't get too uptight. the The presentation is what's gonna set this off. So take your time, walk through it, do it slow. That way you don't have to worry about it. Um, let's see. What y'all? So how was y'all Valentine's Day? Like, what's up? I didn't. I don't care. I didn't see nobody. Um. Message me in the comments. Tell me about where to get these pants from with the white inside. So I ain't got nobody shout out this week, but uh, I'm still looking. So if you know where to get those pants with the white insides, I want the fancy white inside pants, pots and pants, the whole setup. If you know where, they, where I get that from, get in the comments. Let me know. Also, go like, comment, and subscribe. This dope cooking show, all one word on YouTube. I got an Instagram, and you can like and subscribe on Facebook. I need y'all to get in there, call a friend, tell a friend to tune in, so that way we can run it up. I got a lot of views, and I am super excited. Like, every time I log on and I see I got a bunch of views, I get amped up, right? So, like, yo, let's do this. So, I'm um, I'm working on uh, part two of, of I'm a Chef, of course. Uh, so, the first one went crazy. And that was I was just playing around, so I'm gonna really like really do some good ones on this next one, this part two. So y'all stay tuned for that because that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be crazy. Because um, I, I just I mean, chef life is just different. Like we just we move, we think, we do things different. Like I'm a chef, of course. It's always somebody asking, me, "What'd you cook today?" Because I got on a chef jacket. Like, uh, oh, oh, are you a chef? Like, what? You a chef? No, nah, I just got on this samurai looking chef jacket because I want to fight you in the parking lot. Like it's so it's some things that I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna say. <laughs> and I'm excited about doing that. Uh so we're gonna go ahead and get into it, guys. This dope cooking show we own. Let's go. Okay, guys, so we're going to get started with our uh, 
our dish here, guys. We're going to get started with the simple just chopping. Uh, we got our English cucumber. That's what we'll use. We'll cut first, and we're going to we're gonna julienne all of the ingredients that we're going to cut today. So we're going to long slice this English cucumber. I use the English cucumber because it's a little easier to uh, maneuver and fool with. Um, instead of getting the big bulky cucumbers that we already know, um, it's easier just to get this one. Um, so we're going to take this cucumber and we're going to slice it long ways. Um, we're going to get about, I'm going to use half of it because this is just kind of like a garnish, right? And we want to use all of these. I mean, we're going we're gonna to use our matchstick carrots, radish, the English cucumber. We're going to put that in there and then um, some peppers and green onion. So that these will be the ingredients that we slice to put in our um, for our um, cucumber slaw. All right. And we also I forgot to add that we we'll also use a um, the dressing. I forget which one it is, but I have to add that. So we're going to we're just going to be careful. We're going to slice this cucumber long ways. And I could have used a mandolin, but I kind of wanted to keep it intimate, right? Um, because the more you use your knife, the more comfortable you get with it. If you just grab a, a, a device every time, it'll show. You know, um, of course, that'll make it quick, but we weren't in a hurry. When you're making these dishes that is that are fine dining cuisines, you want to take your time. You want to, you know, show the love in the dish, right? So... We slice the cucumber long ways, and then we'll julienne them in slices um, and add them to our bowl, and we'll see what they look like here in just a second. So we finished up with our English cucumber. Um, so you see those matchsticks, kind of like little slivers. We're going to use that to make our slaw. Um, and that'll be our base, right? So you can add as much cucumber or as little cucumber as you want. That's totally up to you. I just wanted a little bit. Um, I also use probably about a pinch of the matchstick uh, carrots because... I don't really want a bunch of carrots in mine, but the carrots is going to add color. Here we're going to chop up our um, green onion. So we slice that green onion long ways to keep with the consistency of the of the slaw. So everything will be julienne, matchstick size, right? You want to keep with the consistency of that. Uh, we just want to use a little bit of that green onion. Well, it, it totally depends on you. I like green onion. Green onion is good to me. So it totally depends on you and what you like. Um, you make the dish how you want to make the dish. I'm just giving you the basics on how to get it started, what to use, and you can adjust how you want to. You can use green onion. You can use white onion. You can use no onion if you want to. Now, the green onion is it's subtle, right? That Now, you use any other kind of onion, it's going to overpower what we're going for because, like I said, this cucumber slaw is just a garnish. We're just going to top that uh, pan seared cod with this this garnish right here so we'll get this all cut up right and um we'll show you what it all looks like in the bowl there uh, we used a the pf chang's vinaigrette um dressing it's a, it's a delicious product i'm with simple keep it in the simple there's no reason to reinvent the wheel there's no reason to go in depth with something that's already a good product so i use the pf chang's um, vinegar, I think it's a sesame vinaigrette, maybe. I, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get the, I'll show her here in a little bit. But we tossed the uh, slot in that, and then we set it off to the side. So here in a second, we'll see just exactly what this looks like. So look, check that out, guys. That is our cucumber slaw. That's pretty much it. Now we're going to add um, our radish. Um, so that'll be the next thing that we put in.
Don't forget to wash your vegetables. Don't forget to, but that's, I mean, use one red radish. I didn't use a lot. I'm not familiar with the radishes. I mean, I've seen them before, but I wasn't for sure how it was going to, you know, taste on this dish. So I didn't want to use a lot of it. So I just used one, um, half of one. And I just, I'm just going to cut it in half here and then slice a long ways. Julienne, slice with consistency. When you um, are cutting um, things, you want to make sure that you keep your fingers and things out the way because you don't want to cut off a finger. So you want to make sure you hold it, uh, kind of put fingertips out the way, right? And press down on it and that way. You keep your fingers in line with the blade and you just cut slowly and consistently. And over time, you know, you'll come up with uh, things like what we're doing here. I just like to, I, I could, like I said, I could have pulled out a device. Here's a whole picture of our slaw right there. And I bow. I could have used a whole a device, but I didn't want to. I wanted to take my time with this one. Um, like I said, it just creates a little more intimacy with the dish. Uh, and we are we going to be on to the next thing. So here's our PF chain signature vinaigrette dressing. Uh, we're going to put that on. Maybe a tablespoon is what I use. You just want to get it coated uh, and get, you know, everything in the bowl coated. And then we'll sit it off to the side um, here and we'll go on to our next thing, guys. So that is our cucumber slaw. Like I said, you can do it however you want to, uh, but I wanted to do mine uh, with more of the cucumber flavor. So I kind of use, I kind of was even on all of the ingredients. That way, once you get that one bite of that slaw, it won't be too overpowering with one thing or the other, right? So we just want to keep it consistent all the way through um, that bite. Um, like I said, it, the slaw is a garnish, but it's still impactful in that dish. So now we're going to get ready to get all our vegetables together for our um, vegetable fried rice. So like I said, guys, this is not the St. Louis style fried rice. This is not what you're going to see in a box of rice from St. Louis, Missouri. Um, this is something that you'll see on a plate at a fancy restaurant. So um, we're going to go with a little bit of onion. I'm just going to slice off some of, of that onion. Just use a little bit of it. Um, because I still like that onion taste in my rice. Uh, so we use one of the, we're going to use a slice here. We're going to slice off a little bit. Um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll cut that dice, that one ring, uh, of onion. And then, um, we're supposed to use a fresh red pepper. Well, the store that I went to did not have any. So, um, we just going to we'll move on. <laughs> so we got our, a piece of green onion piece of um a slice of white onion then these are the peppers that i use instead of the fresh red pepper i just got those now um those kind of they have flavor but they don't have flavor so just be careful um and then you know always watch the heat when you're dealing with peppers but this one didn't have any um doesn't have any heat to it so it gives it a, a pepper taste but it doesn't have the heat so it's like basically a dehydrated red pepper is what it is um, so you got to cut that open and get those seeds out. You don't want no seeds in your, in your, in your dish, in your rice. Um, so we're going to get the seeds out. We'll clean it out here. And then we'll, we'll cut everything up and that'll be what we need for our fried rice. 
I'm going to just show you guys, not do much talking because it's kind of self-explanatory here with some of the stuff that we're using. Um, and it's, I mean, it's simple. This is such a simple dish that, I mean, you can do, you can do white fish, you can do cod, you can do sea bass. Um, you can do salmon if you want to. Any of those fish that you can pan sear and hit it with a nice glaze, kind of an Asian fusion type of deal. Um, and it's going to be great. So guys, don't, you know, don't stress too much over the ingredients because it's so simple. You know, so simple. This is probably one of the quickest, simplest episodes we'll ever do on this dope cooking show. I promise you, because it was just that easy to do. Um, and it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm a chef. Like, if you can follow directions, this is it. And that's partly why I want the camera just on some of the... I probably should have did it on the other side. But, hey, we are learning here. But that's part of the reason why I wanted to show you the simple um, just cutting techniques with these. Because... Outside of frying your rice in the wok, that's it. That's probably the most complicated part of this dish. And getting the rice the way you want it. I'm just different because I have to have to it's a switch. I have to turn it on and off. Like I'm not I'm St. Louis style fried rice every time, right? And that's not what this dish called for. Um so if I made the rice like I would normally make the rice, it wouldn't it's not gonna gel well with what we're doing. And then the you'll see that final product, it just is just not gonna look like you wanted to, if you had done it any different than how we, how we're going to do it here. Now, um, like I said, we got the pepper, we have the green onion, the white onion, and we'll throw some matchsticks, um, matchstick carrots in here with it. And that'll be it. So here we have it, guys. This is our vegetables for our fried rice. We got the green onion, white onion, our matchstick carrots, and then our pepper. Um, and that's gonna be it. That's like I said, it's simple. That's it. So we'll get our we we'll get ready to get our rice, you know, the fried rice. Um, and then we move we moving through this thing, guys. We're moving through it. We getting fancy just a little bit on this dope cooking show. We are back in the bowl. We have some soy sauce. I'm going to add about maybe a third cup of this classic stir fry sauce. There's another bottle product that's always also good. Um, I shop at Walmart, of course. Uh, also, just to add a little bit of sweetness to the dish, so it's not so bland, we're going to put about a tablespoon of our teriyaki sauce, our Kinder's teriyaki sauce and glaze. Uh, we'll get those in there. Now, that stir-fry sauce is a bottle product, of course, and you can buy it right off the shelf. I've seen it at Kroger, and I've also seen it at, um, I get it from Walmart. Like I told y'all, I'm not ashamed of where I buy my stuff from. So, and then, too, um, with our cod, we're going to keep it simple. Just a little bit of salt, pepper, not too much. So, just a, a lot, you know, hot hamburger deluxe. Can't go wrong with that. Just a little bit, right? We don't need a whole lot. I got three pieces of um, fish in there. So you want to season one side, flip them, and then season another side. Uh, I always want to make sure you season all the way around because you want to get it, you know, flavor all the way through and on both sides. Um, so we're going to take our whisk here and give our sauce a stir. Stir it up. Don't get it. Don't get it. Stir it up. 
Um, so we get staring at us here. Want to give keep it a loose consistency? Definitely taste it to see where you want to, you know, want it to be. It's awesome. Um, here we have our cod. Like I said, we got three pieces. Um, salt and pepper. Just kept it simple. And then what we'll do is add. Uh, we're gonna add our marinade to our codfish. Okay. You can do more. You can do less. It's up to you. Um, that's pretty much it. Also, we want to drain the water off our cod because cod holds water. So. Make sure you keep your fish kind of dry. That's going to help with the uh, marinade and having it uh, adhere to the fish to give you that good kind of crust um, on the outside. So we're going to put our marinade and then we're going to set this off to the side. We're going to put everything in there, toss it a couple of times, turn it over, coat it all real good, let it sit. Um, So we're going to let this sit probably about 15 minutes, if that long. It doesn't have to be too long because we're going to, you know, go right to it. So, yep, we're going to put this into the uh, refrigerator, move it out the way. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get everything else lined up. We just got to fry our rice now, guys. Uh, we'll get our, we already cut our vegetables. We already got our jasmine rice. I use jasmine rice on this particular one uh, because that's just, it's a just, it just calls for a different flavor. It calls for a different look. Um, normally, I use the long grain white rice for my St. Louis style fried rice. But this particular one, we're going to use the um, jasmine rice. Also, guys, we could have done this um, kind of like hibachi style. Um, but it's still, you know, the wok is still good. I, you could do it on a flat top if you have one of those um, outdoor black stones that everybody has. You can use those as well. So while we already we're moving around, let's get our eggs um, set up for our uh, fried rice. Because I'm going to use eggs. So I'm going to use two eggs. Y'all see the egg trying to get away? <laughs> he tried to run away on me. So we I, two eggs, simple salt and pepper. Uh, and then we'll whisk those together. I'm going to mix those two together and get them all ready to be scrambled. And then if you remember uh, last, two weeks ago, when we did the the ribs and rice episode, we put our eggs in, we let those cook, um, and it's you know it's a quick process. So once the once the wok gets hot, the wok gets hot, and then we'll get our rice going. So we're gonna get cleaned up, get some things out the way, moved around, and then we'll come back and get ready for our. Um, we're gonna go ahead and fry our rice and get ready for this dish because it is about to be awesome it's gonna be good uh i just can't wait for you guys to try this at home and see for yourself i mean of course watching me do it is great but when you actually take the time and do this stuff yourself and then you taste that final product oh the heart the brain the five senses the smell oh it's just everything it just just gives life food is life guys so we got to put in the proper love and the preparation so that the dish that you make gives life so we're gonna clean up a little bit and then we're gonna come back with our walk and we're gonna walk out I bet. So we so we back. Hope y'all hanging in here with me, guys. If you just joined me, welcome to this dope cooking show where we're doing something fancy this week. We getting a little fancy, so check it out. We got our wok heating up. Um, I don't know if you can see it, um, but we we, we got the, the wok got to get hot. We gonna get that 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 the we wait until we see the smoke coming off the wok before we do anything. So I don't know if you will be able to see the smoke coming from the wok when it get hot, but. We're going to get to it uh, as soon as it heats up. It's not going to take long. So like I told you guys, we uh, use jasmine rice. Um, still going to use oil, vegetable oil. There it go. There it go. We're getting ready, guys. We're getting ready. That wok is getting hot. 
So we use vegetable. I mean, we're going to put some vegetable oil in there. We got our egg. We got our vegetable mix that we're going to put in there. Our wok getting hot. We getting ready to get to it. Get ready to get to it and walk out. Like I told you, this is a process that does not take a long time. So once you start getting that smoke off of this wok, it is time to roll. That's why it is very, very important to have all of your ingredients ready to go. Have everything sitting next to you, your spoon, your spatula, your whatever you're going to use with this wok. Because that process is quick. I mean, three minutes, four minutes at the most. Once you get everything in there and get everything. Because the heat off of this wok is going to continuously cook everything that you got in that wok at the time. So you definitely want to make sure that you are ready to go. Mise in place, mess in place. Have everything ready to go. When we get ready to do this fried rice, I'm telling you, once you get that technique down, you are going to be able to do it yourself. It's not, it's not hard. So here we are going in with our oil. Get it a couple of seconds to heat up. As you see, that oil did not bring down the temperature of the wok. It's going to go ahead and kind of, if, because the wok is so hot, it's going to go ahead and um, get hot quick. And then, you know, the wok is made of a thin metal material. So it's going to get hot quick. So here we go. Going in with our eggs first. Yeah. Going in with our eggs. Got to move quick. Get them in there, get them going. Get in there, get them going. Once our eggs start to see it, as the eggs start to cook, get them a couple of stirs, then a flip or two. And then you want to go in with your vegetables right as you get, get right just like this. Go in with your vegetables, get them going. And then shortly after that, you get your rice in there too. So everybody, everybody in there partying at the same time. <laughs> and like I say, it's a continuous motion. You want to continually move this stuff, move the, move the, the contents of your wok back and forth, continually moving it, continuous, continuous, continuous. Um, like I said, you could have done this on a skillet. You could have done it on a black stone. I have a wok. I want to use my wok because I want to walk out. That's just the way I do it. We can go ahead and add our um a little bit of our soy sauce. Oh, well, we added a little more oil in there. Uh, season, I mean sesame oil. My bad. And then uh, we'll add our uh, soy sauce in there. But look, that's that's pretty much it right there. Just continuously moving it around, getting it going. And then when you add this soy sauce, you're just gonna add it. It's kind of for flavor, just a little bit of look. Um, it's not going to turn it dark brown like our other uh, fried rice that we made, the St. Louis style fried rice. This is nothing compared to that. It's not going to be that at all. This is going to be what we have here for our fancy dish. So we're going to add a little bit of our soy sauce in, and we're going to be, that's it. We're going to toss it a couple of times, and we are done, guys. We are ready. Next thing we're going to do, guys, we're going to go ahead and get our fish ready. So we'll get our skillet uh, heated up on the stove um, so we can sear off our cod. And um, we gonna, we get we get ready to plate up in a minute. But here is our vegetable style fried rice for our fancy dish, for our, parents, our pan seared cod over vegetable rice dish on this dope cooker show. We're going to keep on stirring because we got some heat left in that skillet. And we are on, guys. Okay. We back, guys. So we got our pan heating up. I found this pan to like coals. So I've been using it ever since. Check out our rice, guys. That is amazing. All right, it's not as dark as what we normally use or no, no, what we normally eat, but for this dish, it's gonna work. Promise. So we got our skillet heating up. Was getting you know wispy. We getting getting hot. So we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, a a a quick sear on our salmon. I mean on our cod. We're gonna do a quick sear. Then we're gonna finish it in our new wave oven. I have a new wave oven. It's kind of like a. a air fryer but not but kind of and it has a rotisserie setting and so what that does is it's going to cook it but it's not going to dry it out right so this is how that will be how we finish our uh cod we're going to get a, a good sear here and then we'll finish it in our new wave oven 
If you don't have a new wave oven, that's fine. Just cook your cod all the way through. Whatever fish you decide to use, cook it all the way through in your skillet, right? I just decided to sear mine here, and I'll finish it a different way. So we'll go ahead and sear it, and then we'll get it done. Um, and then we'll come back. We're going to plate up, guys. We're getting ready to plate up. Boom. Here we are. Now, I told y'all I like the teri. So I use this teriyaki glaze. We're going to use this for um, just a little razzle dazzle in our plate here. So we, I'm, since it's a rice dish, I decided to use one of these little low profile bowls. Um, these are amazing, actually. They're not deep, but they, they give you enough. So we just going to, I mean, you can do it however you want to. You can zigzag you some lines in here and you're going to. You know, put some in there, and roll it around, however you want to. But look at this. Watch this, y'all. We finna put our rice in. Look at that release. Oh, my God. Did you see that? Perfect. Okay. Okay. Let's do it again. One more time. Here we go. Boom. It don't get no better than that, guys. Check that out. <laughs> Perfect release into the pan. So that's why I use those cups, those porcelain cups. Because when you do things like this, look at that. That is a perfect base for what we are about to do next, guys. So here, you saw it You saw it here on this dope cooking show. Perfect release two times. Two times. In the, come on, guys. This is, how, this is why, you know, this is why we do this. Because we can all have fun together. Check that out. Okay, so now. We're going to get ready to uh, put our cod in. Look at that cod, guys. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, yep. My arm ashy. Ha, <laughs> ha. So, look. Pan seared cod right on top of the rice, okay? Now, you could have done a, a, a smaller amount of rice, but I, I'm hungry. So, you know, I just wanted to, you know, I want to go big. We're going to go big, you know, this dope cooking show. We're going to go big for it. So, I wanted, you know, a big piece. I mean, a big amount of rice, because if you take your rice and flatten that out, you can pretty much cover the bottom of that bowl with that amount of rice. Then you got the fish, and then, you know, we're going to get our car, I mean, our um, cucumber slaw ready to go on top of that. So at this point, you can drizzle some more teriyaki sauce across there if you should choose or not, but we're going to go right on with our cucumber slaw. Guys, look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Fancy. We got fancy here on this dope cooking show. That is, look at that. Can you imagine walking in the house after a hard day's work and that is sitting there for you with a smile on their face? Look, let's get up on it. Here we go. Look at that, guys. Look at that. We getting fancy. We got fancy here on this dope cooking show. I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to eat. Look at that. First time. Fancy. We got a, we got fine dining on this dope cooker show, pan seared cod over vegetable fried rice with a cucumber slaw on top. Guys, it don't get no better than this. I hope you guys are loving it like I'm loving it. Now, let's just take a few minutes, step back and look at that thing. Guys, did y'all see them plates? I am about to eat. Look, tune in, tell a friend, go to This Dope Cookie Show, all one word, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. We are, hey, look, that is, I'm proud of myself. You got to be proud of you too. Check it out. Hey, this was a fancy one. We did, a fa we did it fancy this time. So you can take this recipe right here and have a nice candlelight dinner at home. You and your boot thing, you and your situation ship, you and whoever. That is, that is, that speaks by itself. That shows you got a little skill right here. And it wasn't even hard, right? We made a little bit of fried rice. We did a piece of cod. We had a glaze to go. We did that cucumber slaw. Hey, that, it's not hard, right? And that is something that can be a conversation piece to start the night off, that could be something that can get things rolling. 
you know, and I mean, what man ain't going to appreciate that when he come in from, you know, from work. What woman is not going to appreciate her man putting that on the table after, you know, a long day of dealing with everybody and getting on her nerves and things that women go through day to day. Yo, that's it. Guy. Like we did it. We did it. You and me, Chef Jeff and you, we put together a fancy plate right here on this dope cooking show. Hey y'all, I love y'all. Tune in, tag a friend, subscribe. I'll catch y'all next week. Peace.